Hi, welcome back to another episode of Cheyenne's Jedi Consular Playthrough. I'm Slicka, and this is a special episode. This will be an uh, episode focused on the first flashpoint on the Republic. So, the idea of the Esselus is that you're on a ship that's carrying a bunch of passengers and uh, eventually find out there was an ambassador that the em Empire already knows about. Uh, and they decide to attack this ship to try and get at her. Eventually you find out who she is, you help her out, and then in the end you get to decide whether to save her or sacrifice her in order to save yourselves. Excuse me. Yes, could I speak with you for a moment? I don't mean to trouble you, Jedi, but I'm curious if anyone from the ship's crew has come to speak with you yet. No member of the ship's crew has sought me out. Should they have? I heard a rumor that there's an Imperial warship following us. I know, I know, the Treaty of Coruscant, but I don't trust the Empire to keep the peace. We should always be on our guard against the evils of the Sith. It's good to hear I'm not the only one concerned about the Imperials. The crew won't tell the passengers anything at all. It's not very reassuring. If the Empire wants a fight, we'll give them one. Are you insane? This is a transport, not a warship. We wouldn't stand a chance against them. Warning! Warning! Incoming fire! All hands! Fire! Fully operation. Good, good. That was quite a hit. We're lucky not to be hurt. Listen, you have to get to the bridge. The captain will need all of the help he can get right now. Go, hurry. Let's just hope it's not too late to help. It's never too late to try. Good luck. Alright, so it looks like. Our goal is to get to the bridge to see if we can help it. This ship. The Empire looks like they're attacking. We're lucky to be alive, it looks like, I guess. It looks like by the makeup of this group, we happen to have a Trooper Vanguard, a Jedi Sentinel, a Jedi Guardian, and myself, who happened to get into the group as heals as a Jedi Sage, even though I'm going to be more DPS than heals. Um, at this point of the game, running in these instances as a healer doesn't really mean as much. Uh, four DPS can just run here. In fact, these instances, the Black Talent and the Essence, were designed for two players to be able to run through with their companions. So, DPS. Um, specs were made to be able to do this without being able to use healers. Maybe a fairly odd med pack on when they're fighting a boss. Come on, Tyrus! You can make it, sir! You can make it! He's gone, sir. You're in charge now. What are our orders? Your orders? Weapons are out! Shields are out! Comms are out! There's nothing we can do! 
You need to remain calm. Who asked you? We're in the middle of a situation here. The bridge is off limits. Sir, we need all the help we can get. If we don't keep it together here, we're finished. Keep what together? The Imperials have us by the throat. We're as good as dead already. Let's try to stay focused on a healthy solution here. I just can't believe this is happening. Sir, incoming message. The Imperial ship is hailing us. What? Oh, well then put them on. Republic Transport Esselus, this is Grand Moff Rikus Kilrin. Your defenses are entirely disabled. Attempt no resistance. We're aware of our situation, Kilrin. Just tell us why you're here. Your ship is transporting a known anti-imperial terrorist and seditionist, the so-called Ambassador Vin Asara. I've come to collect her. Who? We didn't take any passengers by that name. I've never even heard of this person. Interesting. Lying or incompetent? No matter. My agents aboard your ship have confirmed the Ambassador is there. You have spies aboard our ship? I have eyes everywhere. Imperial soldiers are preparing to board your ship through its primary airlock. My agents will ensure that you do not interfere with them. If you attempt to stop my men from arresting Ambassador Asara, I will have every living thing aboard the Esselus killed. Where is the primary airlock? I'll stop the Imperials as they try to board. Weren't you listening? If we try to fight, they'll slaughter us. We have to cooperate. It won't matter. Kilrin has us now. He'll kill us all. He's famous for it. The only one he wants alive is the Ambassador. If Kilrin gets the Ambassador while we're sitting in his sights, we're goners. Those soldiers have to be stopped before they can succeed. I'll ensure that no Imperial soldiers make it aboard this ship. It's very brave of you to volunteer. Listen, I'm sorry I lost it earlier. It means a lot to have your help right now. Thank you. Helping others is both a duty and an honor. Maybe so, but we appreciate your help all the same. I'll have our security team meet you by the primary airlock. They haven't seen much action, but Commander Narlock knows his stuff. Good luck. We're all counting on you. Alright, so it seems our next goal is to head to Commander Narlock. Um, I don't know if you guys ever watched any of the videos that were to preview. Um, the flashpoints in Star Wars The Old Republic, but I believe it was at E3. 2011, I think it was. I could be wrong. Um, they actually showed um, this next part you're gonna see with Commander Narlock and the mini boss fight, I guess. It's not a real boss fight. Even the achievements don't acknowledge it. This is it, men. This is what you've been training for. The Imperials are coming, and we're not gonna let them pass, are we? Sir! No, sir! We won't be fighting alone. We have some very experienced volunteers. The Imps will never know what hit them. Havoc Squad, reporting for duty. Havoc Squad! The best in the Republic. And they're fighting on your side, men. We can't fail. We won't! The Imps will cut through any second now. We need to take up defensive positions. So, Lieutenant Isric is the guy we need to defeat. What's going to basically happen is we're going to have um, enemies, as you see, waves of enemies, so to speak, come out while our main target is the Lieutenant himself. He doesn't really drop any loot, maybe a commendation, typically. Uh, Bioware showed off this fight, like I said, you have to hurry. It like they showed it in the trailer, the set us up. and for the most part, this fight's really easy, just kill all the little lads and kill the main guy. Victory or nothing. So... Apparently I was wrong. I guess the achievement system does um, show off that he's an achievement. 
Saved. I'm sorry, Commander, but that... that isn't the case. That Imperial said that you're the one they were sent to capture. Listen, that's not important right now. We have a serious problem. First Officer Hawken walked us right into a trap. The attack on this airlock was a ruse. After Hawken sent you here, Imperial Commandos snuck aboard. They were led by a Mandalorian mercenary called Iron Fist. We defeated the first group of boarders. There's no reason we can't defeat this group, too. It gets worse, I'm afraid. Iron Fist and his Imperial Commando stormed the bridge, and now the entire area is locked down tight. We have to stop the Imperials from gaining control of the ship. That's why I rushed to find you. Something has to be done. What is this all about? Why are the Imperials so desperate to capture you? Because of my work. I'm a Republic ambassador. I traveled to Imperial-controlled planets and convinced their governments to come over to our side. What's next for us? We need to retake the bridge. The longer we leave the Imperials in control, the harder it'll be to remove them. I already told you, Iron Fist has the bridge locked down. There's no way in or out. A security lockdown. That is bad. Chief Engineer Salem might know of a workaround. Hopefully we can get to Salem before the Imperials. Do you know where he is? He and his team will be down in the engineering section. I'm sure they'll be able to help us. We'll need a diversion. If the Imperials notice the hatches to engineering opening, they'll flood the area with soldiers. My men and I can handle that. Form up, men! We're gonna go start some trouble. Let's get that bridge open. We'll give those imps something to think about, won't we, boys? I'll go along with Commander Narlock. Once you've cleared a path to engineering, I'll double back and join up with you there. Good luck. Alright, so this next part involves us going to meet with a chief engineer. Um, this part is one of the first couple decisions that you can make. Um, when you reach the chief engineer. I probably shouldn't spoil it because you'll just see, but... A lot of people tend to think the ambassador is one big bitch for this part. Overall, if I have to compare the first two, I'll just call them origin flashpoints uh, with each other. I would have to say I do prefer the uh, Eslis over the Black Talon. There's more bosses. It's kind of a bit more unique. I didn't like the ambassador part, but it was better than going after a general and deciding to kill him or capture him, uh, so to speak. Hey, Chief, come here. Come here, look. Look, there's someone out there on the other side of the door. You must be crazy coming all the way down here with the imps everywhere. Commander Narlock said that you might know of a way to unlock the bridge. The Imperials have it sealed off. The imps pulled the lock down? You gotta be kidding me. You really cleared this place out. I didn't run into a single Imperial on my way down here. Listen, there's no time to waste. Commander Narlock and his men are being overrun. We have to get the bridge unlocked now. So I've heard. I'd invite you in, but the lockdown has our door sealed too. Are you gonna be safe in there? Do you need help getting out? Getting the bridge back in our control is much more important. Now let's see. What about a reactor reset? 
That would disengage the security locks, wouldn't it, sir? Yeah, but a reactor reset vents the engineering compartment. We'd be blown into space. Besides, controls are on the other side of the door. What else can we do to open up the bridge? The secondary conduits. They're spread around a bit, but if you shut them all down, the security will go down too. Then we'll be in business. I'll get the conduits shut down right away. There's no time to go running all over the ship. If we don't act now, the Imperials will overwhelm us. I'm sorry, Salen. We need to unlock the bridge while we have the chance. We have to reset the reactor. You and your men will be remembered. We can't send these people to their deaths. Not when there's an alternative. Fine. But you're dooming everyone on this ship. Sometimes sacrifices have to be made for the greater good. We're trying to save the people on this ship, not kill them. Fine. Who am I to argue? You crazy witch! Shutting down the secondary conduits will work, I promise! If you're going to do it, go now. The longer you wait, the more Imperials you'll have after you. <laughs> so as you can see, uh, the ambassador is willing to kill those guys. Just because uh, if you do pick the dark side option, which doesn't really affect the uh, rest of the instance whatsoever, you just killed those guys for the most part. And uh, you can move on to the next part pretty fast. Otherwise, if you choose the option we just chose, we're running around the ship right now. Uh, for the most part, you kill a few droids, you hit these conduits, and then you go continue on. Um, the acting captain will make mention of what happens here, but other than that, not much comes out of it. So clicking on this will give you the codex for the Wander Class Transport. Um, as far as I know, and I could be wrong, Black Talon and the SLS are the only ones where you click on items within the instance that give you codex options. Uh, obviously two per both of them, which is uh, the Gauge Class and the Wander Class, they're both transport. how you managed it, but you did. Security doors around the bridge have opened. The force was with me as usual. I don't know where I'd be if you hadn't been aboard. Probably locked in an Imperial prison, or worse. I'll go and help Narlock with another diversion, so you have as little resistance as possible when you attack the bridge. You'll still have to deal with Iron Fist, though, and that's no small challenge. There's nobody I can't handle. That's good. Most people would panic when faced with an experienced Mandalorian. Or any Mandalorian, really. I only know Iron Fist by reputation. But he's been doing Grand Moff Kilrin's dirty work for a long time now. He's never been captured, defeated, or even driven back. You have your work cut out for you. The Force will give me the strength I'll need. Just be careful. Mandalorians always have a few tricks up their sleeves. All right. No more time to waste. Narlock, are you there? Can you hear me? Copy, this is Narlock. Set for second offensive? That's right, Commander. I'm on my way to join you now. Let's make it happen. Good luck. So now we're on our way to 
the bridge. Um, by looking at it, we have a lot of Mandalorians to deal with. Like, uh, quite a good number. I'd say easily about 30 of them. Um, when we get to Iron Fist, he's not as hard as obviously they make him sound. Uh, which you guys should know that by uh, the fact we're in an origin flashpoint, as I call it. As you can see, Grand Moff Kilgren from the Black Talon is in this one as well, where they make mention of him. Obviously, other than seeing him through Hollows, we don't see him in the flesh. Uh, the Grand Moff really wants this ambassador, uh, but I will somewhat spoil a later flashpoint. The Republic does kill him, but that'll be way later on. Like. We might be uh, months or years before you see me do it and record it and put it up on YouTube here. While we're making our way to the bridge, I would just like to thank um, the three members that end up being in my random group for being patient and watching the entire Flashpoint for those who didn't. Um, I appreciate it, it really helps considering I have to get into a random group for these. I don't have anyone willing to run through with me and uh, you guys are awesome. Doubt you guys will ever see this because I don't have that many subscribers just yet. You guys might be free to play, but good job nonetheless, guys. We have now just made it back to the bridge. Um, I guess it's time to go save the uh, first mate and the acting captain and basically go defeat Iron Fist so we can retake our ship back. Thanks for the applause, Iron Fist. Well, well. I was wondering when you'd finally show up. This is it? There aren't more of you? Just give up, Iron Fist. I don't want to have to hurt you or your men. Strange view of the situation. Guess you'd have to be a little crazy to put up the fight you have. Let's vape this worthless scum and get back to work. Alright, so Iron Fist is basically one of those annoying fights. I will be throwing up some heals on this one. Um, just because of what's going on. He has a few little ads you can deal with, no big deal. Um, basically, he'll do a knockback. Um, I believe he does grapple you to pull you in at some point. He flies towards you with a rocket punch sometimes. He spams like a missile from his back that keeps shooting at you. Does some minor splash damage I believe. For those staying near uh, the one getting targeted. Just move out of the way. Um, there's not much to the fight really. He's very easy to defeat. He does drop some wood, so he is worth the achievement. Alright, some loot for me. Those are will be some nice gloves I get to equip later. Too bad I'm not high enough level yet to use them.
First Officer Hawken, do you have any spare shuttles in the hangar bay? Spare shuttles? Yes, we do, but I don't... Then that's our only chance. You have to board Grand Moff Kilburn's ship and disable the tractor beam so that we can all escape. If this is what must be done to save the people on this ship, then I'll do it. I knew we could count on you. I've been aboard warships like Kilburn's. The tractor beam control should be easy to find if you know where you're going. Ambassador, you're familiar with the layout. Perhaps you should go along to help get the tractor beam shut down. We need every advantage we can get. It'll be good to have you along, Ambassador. I'll do my best to help in any way I can. Ambassador, before you go, take a spare uniform. We wouldn't want any Imperials to recognize you. Good thinking, Commander. Thank you. Now let's get moving. Good luck out there. We're all counting on you. I need to talk to you before you go. I just talked to Salen from Engineering. He told me what Asara tried to make you do down there. Thank you for stopping her. Sacrificing innocent people is wrong, no matter the reason. You stood up for the lives of my crew, and risked your own instead. I won't forget that. Listen, I've been thinking. I really believe this plan is going to work. But there's only one way to guarantee that we'll all make it home safe. And that's to make sure the Imperials have no reason to keep chasing us. Tell me exactly what it is you're trying to say. I want you to leave Asara on the Grand Moff ship. With the tractor beam down, we'll be able to escape. But Kilrin will just chase us down again. Unless he's already captured his target. As long as Asara is on this ship, everyone aboard is in danger. I don't know about you, but I'm tired of risking all of our lives for that woman. Leaving Asara behind ensures the safety of everyone else on this ship. I'm glad we're on the same page here. And I'm going to make sure you get rewarded for your help in this. Anyway, you'd better get going. I've held you up too long already. Good luck. So as you see, Hawken has a... Um, plan to try and help us escape, as I said at the start. Doesn't like Asara too much. Um, as I said, he, Salen told him what went on, and he uh, obviously Hawking didn't like it. Salen's thankful, you know, we saved his crew and decided to say, no, we're not killing these guys. Um, but now I guess we have a decision to work while we're on the Emperor's glory. We can either take Asara with us or leave her. It's kind of interesting uh, when you go to Lever. Um, I don't know what this group will decide so far seeing light side options. I highly doubt they're going to Lever. But what ends up happening is you kind of bring it up to her. Where you say, hey, Asara, we have to talk. And she's like, wait, what? And we can say, well, Hawken wanted to leave you here. And she says, no, you guys aren't going to do it, right? And then that's when you can decide if you're leaving her or not. Either that or you could just go light side and not even tell her and just move on. It's kind of funny to watch. So as you can see, now that we're invading the Emperor's Glory, there's lots of Imperials everywhere that we have to deal with. Uh, for the most part, um, they're all easy. Like I said, this one has more bosses, even if they're not counting the achievement, um, than the Black Talon. Um, I'll get into that momentarily.
I've seen some incredible things in my time, but you've just topped the list. I'm sorry I couldn't greet you in person. If only you had let me know you were stopping by. If this is a bad time, we could come back later. Oh, no, not at all, I assure you. I'm quite prepared for your visit. My men will be along shortly to escort you to the accommodations I've arranged. Your men can't stop us, Kilrin. You greatly overestimate your chances. Iron Fist wasn't the only weapon in my arsenal, nor the deadliest. See you soon. So, obviously, Grand Moff Kilrin is full of himself, thinking that uh, he'll be able to stop us quite easily. Um, as for the other bosses that we have yet to face in this um, instance, we end up finishing the instance against the Sith, just like in the Black Talon you finish it against the Jedi. Um, closest I can say is an apprentice. There. Exactly that strong. I'll explain strategy when we get to them. And in the other case of uh, the other bosses on this ship, we face two droids in um, the reactor room, I guess. I, I don't even know what's going on when we get to this room. Um, one's a secret boss, and then the other's just, you know, you actually have to fight it. Um, if you do the secret boss, you actually weaken the first boss, the uh, main boss you'd have to fight if you didn't do this, the uh, secret boss, or the bonus boss as we call it. Alright, so we're almost at the reactor core now. Um, so I went through the bosses. Are. What's gonna happen is we're gonna get in there, and in order to activate the bonus boss, we're actually gonna have to kill uh, both enemies that they have spawned, like just random enemies, on each side um, right before the reactor core. You'll see a boss in the middle, um, which is a droid. When you kill them both, then we'll have to split up and kind of time slicing the power uh, conduits. So one person will do it, the other person will do it and try and do it at the same time. If you do it, you have like a five second interval to finish it, something like that. Um, and you slice them at the same time, you activate the bonus boss. It weakens the main boss, which you have to face no matter what, and summons the bonus boss right behind it, really. Like you're probably... 20 feet away from it, it's just on the other side of the reactor core. After facing like uh, one set of mobs, it's a uh, very easy boss to do, obviously.
Alright, so as you see, we just completed the uh, bonus quest to slice the terminals. We just summoned the bonus boss, and now we have to go deal with the weakened main boss in order to reach the bonus boss. So anytime I fight this boss, I kind of find him as a tank and spank. He'll uh, run at you. Um, I think he does do a tank switch where he'll knock someone back and then go at the next highest uh, target. Not positive on that. Um, I mean, every time I've done him, we kill him so fast because you reduce like the damage he does by like 5% or something like that. 10%. It's not like he has a lot of health to begin with. Uh, congrats to the Jedi Guardian. I hope you realize that this is getting out of hand. You're leaving me with precious few options. Alright, so the next boss is kind of unique. What's gonna happen is he's gonna target one, the main tank or whatever. He's gonna create like a energy field around himself and anyone not within the energy field actually takes damage. It'll be like electricity shooting out of you. As you can see, I was getting shot. Um, basically, it's a tank and spank. Just stay inside the field. Follow the robot if you have to. No big deal. Congrats to our tank on loot. <laughs> it looks kind of funny seeing it say Power Tech since that is the Bounty Hunter tank spec uh, name. No, a Vanguard can use it. It is a shield generator. So now the goal is to make an escape route. So we're basically heading back for our ship. We already disabled the tractor beam and we're on our way back. Um, what's going to happen at one point is we're actually going to jump down. Um, you can die if you jump all the way down. Just be aware of that. Uh, to another level. We're going to run through that area and eventually make it back to our ship just to fight that Sith I was talking about earlier. And also making our decision if we're going to spare the Ambassador or relieve her to rot on this ship since that's all Kilran wanted to begin with. <laughs> so in my case I forgot to heal because of how far the jump was if I actually used uh, meditation I would have survived that as you can see our Jedi Sentinel she fell all the way down so <laughs> kind of embarrassing for my playthrough video for this instance but eh, what are you gonna do mistakes are made um, as you can see this is kind of like a reference to the uh, 
garbage dump where Luke, Leia, Han are all in in episode 4 of the Death Star. Greetings. At last, a real live Jedi. How I've looked forward to this. A true Sith cannot go long without a true challenge. I won't fight you if you don't make me. Pitiful words. Don't waste your final breaths with them. To destroy a dangerous foe, that is the way of a true Sith. When I carve your heart from your chest, your fellow Jedi will sense your defeat, as will my master. Turn back from the dark side. Help us save the lives of innocent people. Those not strong enough to survive by their own hands deserve death. The power of the dark side is infinite. Are you ready to face oblivion? A big talk with nothing to back it up. <laughs> Always entertaining. You're right. Words are nothing without action. So, meet the Vok, as I call him. Uh, Vok, he's, uh, pretty easy. Um, take care of his ads, no problem. Uh, all Vok really does is he kind of, uh, shoots a purple reticle on the ground, target, that you run away from, and if you're standing near it or in it, lightning hits you. And it can do some decent damage. Kind of like Yadira Band Cyclone. On Heroic, I've never done it, because I've never really played any of the Republic classes through Heroics. I've only done that with my Imperials. I hear it was able to one-shot you back when level 50s are big and you know this was somewhat hard. Um, now I have no idea, but at any rate, that's all Vok really does, he just does that, there's nothing to it. In a few moments, your pathetic ship and all your pathetic friends will be nothing but floating debris.
Come on, get onto the shuttles. We have to hurry. If we launch fast enough, I think we can make it. Are you ready? Right behind you, Ambassador. Let's just hope Hawken has the hyperdrive ready. Come on. So, I got to make, um, all the main decisions in this one anyway, so, no matter what would have happened, we would have went by what I decided. Um, so yes, you do get a title, we got the uncompromising for not telling her and taking her with us. If we left her, I believe we get the Merciless, or something to that effect for our title. I'd have to check on one of my other characters. I'm not positive what the title is, if you leave her. I think that's it, but again, I've only done it once or so. Everyone's aboard, Plex. Get us out of here, now! We're safe! You did it! You did what no one else could have done. You've saved us all. We owe you our lives. Every one of us. So on behalf of the passengers and crew of the Republic Transport Esselus, thank you. It's been an honor to help and protect you all. If you hadn't been here, we'd all have been doomed. We can't thank you enough. I took up a collection from everyone on the ship. Hopefully, these credits will help you save other people in need, the same way you saved us. You have my thanks. You deserve far more. Ambassador Asara, it's... It's a relief to see that you made it back to us safely as well. It's a relief to be back, Hawken. I'm just glad that this is all finally over. We're finally safe. I want to thank you again for everything you've done. Heroes like you are hard to come by, and the Republic needs every one they can get. I just did my job. I mean it. If you hadn't been here, we would all be dead for certain. I should warn you, though. Grand Moff Kilrun is never going to forget what we've done. He'll stop at nothing to get his revenge. Sounds like I'd better keep my guard up from now on. That would be wise. There's nothing Kilrun isn't capable of. Anyway, enough of that. I'd say it's about time we all relaxed a bit and enjoyed the rest of our trip. Thanks again. And good luck in the future. Alright, so, it seems like we've completed the S list. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, again, I want to thank the group members for coming along and uh, sitting through all this. Even the ones that didn't really want to sit through this, where they wanted to just do a speed run. Um, you guys are great. So, thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Keep checking back for more video updates, and good luck.